I, <laughs> I don't know where to eat next. I really don't want to eat, bro. I just don't. I'm just gonna pause that. Listen to the new Silk Sonic album and it gets you in the groove, baby. What's going on? We're doing it, finally. Something that I've been waiting to do for so long. 10,000 calorie challenge. I was supposed to be doing it with my boy Don today, but unfortunately there's a bunch of flooding that's going on in BC and he has no power. I haven't heard from him, hopefully he's okay. But we're gonna be doing it solo. This is gonna be the first time I film a YouTube video solo all by myself. I'm a little nervous, I'm a little excited, but I know I'm gonna enjoy some really, 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 really good food. So, before we get started, I do wanna let you know about a couple of the rules of the 10,000 calorie challenge. by getting off some gas. I also realized I didn't grab my wallet. So I'm gonna have to head back home and go grab that because we're gonna be purchasing a lot of food throughout the day. But the only rule, I know I said that there's a couple of rules, the only rule is that you cannot have liquid calories through this because that would just make it super easy. Essentially, I could just down a whole bottle of honey and just be right there as if I don't already do that uh, already. So I'm gonna go back home, gonna go grab my wallet and we're gonna go off for the rest of the day. Along the journey, we're gonna have a six pack of donuts right away here. But as I go through this, I'm also gonna be tracking my overall calories and a counter down below here. So. Let's have some fun. I've been waiting to do this for so freaking long. Um, I know I'm not gonna feel very good at the end of this, but let's have some fun, hey? Might need that for a food challenge, hey? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I've been snacking on the cookies and uh, kind of taken a majority of them down. Um, my first stop for the food tour is actually Empire Donuts and I'm gonna go get a six pack, six pack there. They also have absolutely fire breakfast sandwiches, like a burger one, um, but each one of these cookies from 7-Eleven is 250 calories. So you know, I think this goes to show that, let's say you're in a dieting phase and you're not doing a dumb 10,000 calorie challenge, that a cookie can be 250 calories and let's say you have a few cookies before bed, that could easily be 1,000 calories extra that you're taking in. So just remember, take a look at your nutrition facts before you go on and do anything. Um, I know I'm gonna feel like a piece of garbage after this, but let's go grab some donuts. Cheers. So good. Hey! Not gonna lie, I don't know if I'm actually excited for this. I was telling Tony this the other day, but fuck, I just do not want to eat a fuckload of calories right now. Like, I just really don't. But we're gonna make it happen, and I'm gonna take this off because I know I'm gonna start sweating in here pretty quick. Oh, okay. First off, sip of coffee. Oh, this coffee is actually really not good. Okay, can you see me okay? Am I focused in on? Am I good? Unreal. So we're posted up here at Dallas Road, and it's a beautiful view. You get to see the Salish Sea looking down into Washington, and there's usually ships that come into the harbor, and it's an actual nice day out today, so I'm, I'm really excited about that. But what I'm not excited about is eating a bunch of these donuts. Now, like I said, the only rule for this challenge is that I do not drink any of my calories. Apart from that, everything is fair game. Um, one thing that I will say, though, is right now it is 12.09. For the most part, I am starting this challenge super late. Uh, for most people, when they do the 10,000 calorie challenge, they usually start at like six in the morning or eight in the morning. I did not have that luxury because I had a little bit of work this morning and then I wanted to make sure I recorded everything that I put into my mouth. So, we're starting it off, a little bit of coffee, uh, but now we're gonna dive into the first donut. So, I went to the first donut shop and I went to this place called Empire Donuts where I'm very, very familiar with the, uh, the lineup because I do be going there quite often, especially after the show. Uh, this time I tried a new place called Yanni's Donuts, which is actually a lot closer to me, but they don't have as cool of flavors. I literally had a seagull land on top. <laughs> literally just landed on my car. What's up, buddy? Hey, you want some donuts? Do you? Gary the Gull just decided to come pop by and say what's up. <laughs> we love Gary. So Empire Donuts was closed. So I ended up going to a place called Yanni's Donuts. The donuts are a lot smaller, but they still look Pretty cool, are you good? This is, I believe, a honey cruller. Um, I ended up getting a coffee glazed. 
here. This, I believe, is like a cinnamon something or other. We have a chocolate honey cruller. Uh, we have another one of the cinnamon. Oh, I wish they didn't give me two of these. These are probably my least favorite. And an Oreo, oh my goodness, an Oreo stuffed. Oh my god. Um, another thing that I ended up getting was an egg bun. Don't know what the hell that is. But I asked this girl for a breakfast sandwich and she said that she can make me a bun with like cheese melted on top. With egg in the middle. So I ended up going for one of these, if you can see that. Uh, and before this, I had about 1,500 calories worth of cookie from 7-Eleven. So I'm gonna start off with something savory, and then I'm gonna rotate back and forth. I'm gonna do a little super set of sweet and savory, and we're gonna go about it that way. So here is for the very first, the very first salty portion of the 10,000 calorie challenge. We're going with an egg bun. Let's do it. Wow, that's really spicy. I'm not a fan. But it is salty, so I know that's something I need right now. Let's get through the egg bun and through with these donuts. Me and Gary are gonna have a good time while we eat this. Go with that bad boy. You can kind of think of this like a sour cream glazed donut, but like harder. Like, like think about the the crust on the outside of bread, like the the good artisanal bread where you like take the bread knife and you like scrape it across, and it like you can hear the scrapes. That's that's how this one feels. So I had all those cookies beforehand. I'm the amount that I want sweet right now is like in the dish. So I'm thinking I take a bite of all of these things. I'll finish them up throughout the day later on. Oh my god! See, I'm already making excuses. Fuck! Fuck! You know what? No, no, no. I'm gonna stick with that plan because I'm gonna go to the gym and the hunger's gonna come back. Then I'm gonna have some sort of like pizza or something. Just finished a workout at Odyssey pull workout, and I thought that me working out would make me feel better. Like, the appetite would come back into my body, but I think I feel worse. And I'm genuinely contemplating just going to sleep right now. But I committed to making this happen. So right now we're about 5,008 calories down. And I was brainstorming with Steven. I'm like, all right, I'm 5,000 calories deep right now. What more should I eat? And he recommended that I have something high carb. Uh, the reason that he said high carb is because you need to make sure that it digests well. Um, when you have fats or you have fiber, it slows down your digestion. So if I'm feeling super full right now, um, it's just going to keep me fuller for longer. <sighs> so that means I should probably have like sushi or something. Fuck, I can't, I literally can't tell you how badly I just want to give this up right now. And I'm only 5,000 calories in. <sighs> I swear I'm gonna like fast for two days after this. I'm, I'm literally just gonna drink water and greens powder. We're gonna give Bin4 a call. We are gonna start an order here. So I'm gonna take a look at the menu and see what is up. I'm gonna order sushi, then I'm gonna go home, and then we're gonna do fast food for the rest of it, and then maybe end off the night at a restaurant or the keg or like pasta or something, but fuck, like this is, this is pretty rough. Um, I'll take you through the drive-thrus depending on where I go. Probably have to go grab an energy drink because like fuck, I just wanna go to bed right now. Let's do it. This kind of sucks. Meal number two going down, 5,008 calories down. Got some sushi from Sushi Langford. Unreal. Unreal. We got a Philadelphia roll here, as you can see with the little cream cheese. I love the cream cheese inside of the, the Philadelphia roll. Uh, I believe that this is a red dragon roll. It has the row on top there. A little bit of something with salmon on it and some asparagus. I believe this is called the Langford roll. Uh, and then something deep fried and delicious up top. But you know, have this, have a monster, watch some YouTube probably, and chill out while you guys watch me do a little mukbang. Let's do it. I'm running around in the streets, they're trying to catch up, but they still can't compete. I thought they got in my sleep, he told me keep going, cause you gotta leave. How's it going? I've been laying here for two hours and I still haven't finished those last bits of sushi. It's not fun. <sighs> my stomach is clearing up, finally. It's dark outside. I'm thinking to myself, how does one fit in 3,000 calories at the end of the night? We were thinking cactus, maybe some fettuccine alfredo, maybe some pizza, maybe a DQ blizzard, but that's what we're gonna go with. We're gonna go with a pizza, ooh, or McDonald's. I'm really, in what I noticed about this challenge is I am super indecisive. Here, I could have tacos. I could have pasta. 
I could have a burger. I could have... Like, when I'm hungry, I can be like, I want this, and then I'm fucking right on it. When I'm not hungry, I'm just like, what would not kill me as much? So, oh, we'll see how the rest of this goes, but let's make it happen. Is there baking in here? This is my special cookie. Okay. <laughs> what does it say? Fuck. <laughs> nice. Auto focus, go. Teen Titans. There it is. Little McDonald's pickup, medium fries. Double quarter pounder with cheese. 20 McNuggets. Sauces, sauces. That's it. And then we're gonna cap the night off. Reese's and Oreo. I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna fucking devour this. Um, and then I'm probably gonna die in bed, sweating and farting for the next uh, 13 hours. Not that good. Fuck. Nick's gonna be disappointed in me. McChicken sauce is the goat sauce. One down. Oh my god. If you're gonna undertake a 10,000 calorie challenge, Two digestive enzymes before every single meal. Um, your significant other and your bed sheets and bank account will thank you. Why will the bank account thank you? Because you won't have to replace the shit stains on your sheets. You asking me? Yeah. Are you guys wearing hats for service? Uh, no. Nothing at all. No. Okay. So it's the next morning. I'm gonna fill you in on the, the the rest of the challenge. So last night I had. The double quarter pound with cheese, the, um, not the McFlurry, the Blizzard, the <laughs> fries, and 20 McNuggets. So I'm like, okay, I started recording and I was sitting on the couch. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna slam all this food. I'll check in with you guys at the end of the night. I finished the uh, double quarter pound with cheese and then I honestly, I started recording and I was sitting on the couch. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna slam all this food. I'll check in with you guys at the end of the night. I finished the uh, double quarter pound with cheese and then I honestly, went to the couch beside me and was just like, babe, I can't do this right now. I'm just gonna fall asleep. I'm gonna take a bit of a nap and then I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna go back at it. Safe to say I fell asleep for a long time. I woke up at 11 o'clock with a McFlurry or a, a blizzard in my hand, <laughs> melted the uh, 20 McNuggets that were sitting there. There was about 10 left. I was thinking to myself, okay, I'm not a bitch. Like I can finish this. Let's fucking do this. And I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. So, if I'm to calculate everything that I ate last night, I'm gonna tell you how close I got to the challenge. So, let's go here. Boba. So, donuts, the cookies, the one bar Oreo donut, the coffee donut, Philadelphia roll, deep fried California roll, the red dragon roll, another like California-ish roll. Um, I ended up having half, I'd say about two thirds of the blizzard, so. 1.66, cool, and then I will say double quarter pounder with cheese. Ready? 10,030 calories. I'm gonna give you guys my to my last uh, my last thoughts on the on the challenge here. So after going through a show prep, one of the one of the things that Donald and I talked about a bunch was the fact that we wanted to do all these different food challenges. Because when you are so hungry and so depleted and doing all of this cardio, all you think about is food. Like on the Stairmaster doing 60 minutes a day, all you think about is food. To the point where all I would watch on YouTube is Eric the Electric videos, or Food Challenge videos, or Try Guy tries everything on the menu at Shake Shack videos. And I was just super excited for this challenge. A little bit of me was not excited because I have been eating like kind of an asshole for the past 17 days already. That so much of me was like, fuck, I just don't wanna do this, fuck this, I don't wanna do this, come on, please. But I did it anyway. Going through the day, there's a lot of struggle. Like to be honest, one of the times I lost, um, my battery in my car ran out, so I had to wait to get someone to jump it for me. There was a lot. Um, what I thought was gonna be not so much of a full, filming day, it ended up being that. 
the time in the gym was absolutely horrible. Um, I wanted to record some of that session, but I just felt like a beached whale and it just didn't end up happening. But 10,000 calories were put down yesterday. Fuck yeah, I did it. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna do it. All in all, if I were to change anything, is number one, I wouldn't have slammed that many donuts right away in the morning. Uh, number, because I just felt this crazy sugar haze, this fog where I felt like I couldn't think and I couldn't speak. I just wanted to like pass out and die on the bench press. And the other thing that I would have changed about it is I would have, I would have not had sushi. This sushi kind of messed me up because there was just so much volume of food that my stomach just felt so ill and I just did not want to get up off the couch and do anything. At the end of the night, I was sweating like crazy. I fell asleep and woke up and I just tried to slam back as much as I could and I literally went to bed last night thinking, okay, I failed, fuck this. Um, but to know that I actually hit the 10,000 calories is pretty sick. So, with that being said, Thank you guys for watching this YouTube video. Hopefully it was fun for you. Um, it was definitely not that fun for me. Um, if this get, video gets, let's say 500 likes, we'll go 500. I will consider doing another food challenge video. We'll go, we'll go 20,000 calories. I'll have to literally plan out a day for this because just running and gunning 10,000 calories, which I thought was gonna be very easy, um, was really fucking annoying actually. So this get, is this, if this video gets 500 likes, I will be running a 20,000 calorie video. If you want to see me in pain, let me know. Let's have some fun. So thank you guys for watching the video. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, new video coming out next week, every single Monday. Like I said, I will not miss every Monday. I'll see you there for the next two years. Peace out.